tucked away in the rolling hills of central Italy, lies the little village of Montebello. Originally dating back to the third year AD, the castle towering over the ancient cobbled streets was sold to the Malatesta family in 1186, who further developed the pre-existing tower into a fortified dwelling. The family ruled over these lands for three centuries and it is in the course of this period that our story begins. In early 1370, the Lord of Montebello, Ugolinuccio, and his wife Costanza gave birth to a little girl and named her Gwendolina. She was a beautiful and healthy baby, but she carried a stigma. Gwendolina was an albino, her eyes were pale blue, and her hair was white. Times were very unforgiving towards albinos. Albinism was seen as a mark of witchcraft, and as such, hard measures were taken. Upon reaching their 13th year, Albino boys would be flayed alive, while albino girls would be burnt at the stake. To protect the little girl, her parents would tint her hair with a natural dye obtained from plants. But her albino hair didn't hold on to the pigment, thus leaving her locks a pale blue color. This earned her the nickname of Azarina, or the pale blue girl. Azarina, as she was called, lived her life in the castle, never setting foot outside the safe paternal walls. Her father also put two armed soldiers to guard the girl and ensure her safety. However, on the stormy night of the 21st of June 1375, something still unexplained to this day happened. Ugolinuccio was far away from his castle, fighting in a battle. Azarina was playing with a ball, her faithful guards watching over her. All of a sudden, her ball rolled away, down a narrow staircase leading to a room used to store food with no way out. The girl ran after her ball down the steps and towards this room. Her guards lost sight of her just for a moment. Then they heard a terrible scream come from the stairwell. Fearing the girl had fallen and injured herself, they ran down the narrow stairs only to find an empty room. There was no trace of Azarina and there were no other entrances or exits through which she may have left or have been taken away. When her father, the Lord, returned to his castle and was informed of the happening, the guards were swiftly executed. To this day, nobody knows what became of her. Some speculate she did actually fall down the stairs and accidentally die. Some argued that she was kidnapped or even gotten rid of on her father's order as her presence was putting him in an uncomfortable position, possibly threatening his power. Yet, there is no trace of her, and her little bones have never been found, as if she indeed had vanished into thin air. However, in the village, ancient tales are told of a little blue spirit dwelling in the castle and crying on stormy nights. She is said to manifest, crying, calling for her mummy, even screaming, on the summer solstice of years ending with zero or five. In 1990, some paranormal researchers tried to record her voice, and the results were unexpected. In the recording, a little girl can be heard crying and calling for her mummy. For the recordings, both taken on years ending with zero and five, and on other dates, have yielded very interesting results, including a shrill scream and some kind of chanting. Please find the link to the recordings attached in the description. If you like this video, why not subscribe to the channel for more creepy ghost stories?